Honorable Speaker, the ACDP would like to repeat our message of congratulations to the Spirit Box for beating England with a wide margin of 32 to 12 to win the Rugby World Cup in Japan. This was an incredible victory and would not have been possible without the effort of the whole team who worked together as one. This said, I also want to pay special tribute to three outstanding team members. Firstly, a special word of thanks goes to our inspirational captain, Sia Kolisi. Besides the fact that he is the first black captain that Springboks ever had, his outstanding leadership both on and off the field has been exemplary. <laughs> worth noting is his advice. <laughs> worth noting is his advice to young aspirant rugby players, particularly those from poor backgrounds, to have goals while believing that all things are possible. Captain Sia Kolisi gave another inspiring message after winning the People's Choice Sports Star Award at the South African Sports Awards in Deben on Sunday night. He is reported to have said, and I quote, we are such a beautiful country. When we decide on a goal or dream, as a nation, we can achieve it. Our team is diverse. We have got different backgrounds and races, and we decided to fight for one common thing. We can also do it in life and business. We just have to put our egos aside and fight for what is right so that South Africa can be better." Close quote. This is why I was so disappointed by Dr. Ndlozi's divisive tweet when he congratulated Siakolisi for the victory, but said the rest of the players should go to Prince Harry for their congratulations. I want to appeal to Dr. Ndlozi to join the nation for once and congratulate the entire Springbok team. The only team to have won every World Cup final they have played in. This amazing victory, sir, was an important victory for all South Africans. That's why all South Africans must rally in congratulating them. The second person I want to mention by name is a great tactician, Coach Erasmus, whose game plan ultimately outsmarted the tactics of England's coach, Eddie Jones. It was Great to see how Rasi motivated and transformed our rugby team in just 18 months to make them World Cup rugby champions. The third person is Magazole Mapimpi, who also comes from humble beginnings. He enjoyed a great tournament and made history when he became the first South African to score a try in a rugby World Cup final. His brilliance help the team to victory. South Africans are stronger and will be unbeatable if we continue to stand together. To Mabogabog, we say, we salute you, you our team, and the Lord bless you for all your efforts. Thank you. Thank you very much.